Hello beautiful Virgos! Welcome back to the channel everybody. I welcome you if you're new, new subscribers, you're always welcome here. Thank you guys so very much for all your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, you're invaluable, know that. Let's see Virgo, I'm using the Pegasus deck today. What's going on for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to see, know, or hear today, Spirit? upcoming week for Virgo. What information would you like to relay to Virgo? Things that will help Virgo. What about Virgo? Patience. Feeling a little uh, fogged in. It's like being in a bog. Feeling uh, weighted down. Wizard of the Woods, trying to keep focus and manifesting your dreams. It's like there is a protective energy around you. It's like having a spirit of the bear. Trying to be brave and courageous here. It's like... Trying to get some kind of purity here, healing. Trying to find your path, trying to, that's Virgo energy, that's a hermit, trying to find their way. Unicorns are absolutely divine, like they really are. This unicorn trying to find their way through this forest. The wolf spirit, a family here. The bee spirit of being industrious, trying to bring in some prosperity, trying to find your way to prosperity. And the bee is significant of industriousness, trying to find your way here. The Wizard of the Woods, trying to remain focused, trying to manifest dreams. But feeling fogged in. Like in a foggy bog, like you can't see clearly or something and you're trying to find your way. You've got the, you know, the spirit of the bear here, which is it's almost as if you've got somebody around you who's very protective of you, is trying to show you the way. There's good intentions here. What's going on? The spirit of spring, the guardian of spring. So you might have to wait to spring before things are activated. Like we have the winter month here. And usually, like, bears hibernate in the winter. So it could be that you're trying to activate something new, but you're feeling there's winter again. Retreat.
I told you you're being very someone is protecting you who has pure intent it is like Someone's trying to show you the way here, or let's see what's going on. So it's almost as if someone's focus is on beauty. It's a wood nymph, so someone very young and it's like trying to manifest your dreams, but you're feeling bogged in, like you can't see something clearly. And you're looking at trying to start something new, get a new beginning. Virgo. Unicorns have pure intentions. Like, there's no question about it. It's almost like Orange Dragon brings soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people everywhere together. So you have someone around you that's trying to bring everything together. Open the door to knowledge for new golden age. Carry the energy of the future in be a guiding light. So you are definitely got someone around you who is, that's the wolf, the bear, and the unicorn. Somebody, it says, the wolf spirit of family trying to show you a direction show you a path show you a way what's going on but you're feeling fogged in it's like you can't see something yeah the earth and water dragon is trying to create the foundation of new growth a fresh start is coming with new opportunities nurture your ideas and the and the harvest of abundance so that's what you're trying to achieve this abundance this new growth dusky pink dragon from andromeda prepares all your chakras to embody higher love accept and radiate higher love Touch others with its flame. Rainbow Dragon brings the leap of joy that opens the doors. Have trust. Rediscover wisdom. Expect some miracles and accept opportunities. The green dragon helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. So, you definitely have somebody trying to, to show you the way here. Transmute through the power of divine love. Hope, peace, and joy. 
brings emerald dragon dragon brings healing and cosmic abundance good fortune is coming so let your thoughts support your divine perfection align with your 5d blueprints so this is something that you've got to bring from the 5d that you're manifesting into the 3d enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding prepare for an ascension so it's like these are things that are not in the 3d these are things that have to come from the 5d into the 3d And it's like someone is trying to show you your way. It's getting connected to the Christ light, like... Let's just see what's going on here for Virgo. It's definitely sure that you are feeling fogged in. And it's like you're trying to bring things into fruition. But there's an element missing. And it's like you're trying to get visions or you're trying to get answers, but you're feeling fogged in like you can't see clearly a path. And it's because maybe your chakras are out of alignment. Like especially when you're trying to manifest like new opportunities and abundance, it's really important to have your chakras in alignment. Everything in perfect balance for manifestation. What's happening here? In search of wish fulfillment, you know? And it's what you're working on. You're trying to work on something that can fulfill your wishes. And you're, here's that wolf spirit again. So it's like this knight is on bended knee asking for help. Asking the universe. It's like saying prayers. It's like... Please show me the way here. Mm. Eight of Wands, it's about messaging. It's also about receiving messages. And it's with the Angel of the Night here. And feeling stuck. Let's try, like you're trying, it could be to do with 
night shift or having to work at night and feeling stuck. There's two work cards here and it's like not wanting to walk away but it's It's about not wanting to walk away, but it's almost like you feel like you have no option because it's all to do with the night, the night, the night, the night, the dark, the dark, the dark. It's almost as if there's confusion here. And it's confusion about a spouse. This is a spouse. What's going on? King of Wand Energy. <sighs> King of Wands is usually someone who is a leader. Someone who can take leadership. But the it's King of Wands Hang on. This is Ten of Cups. This is family wants to take leadership, wants to walk away to get their Nine of Cups, go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, is in search of wish fulfillment. And it is like, The Queen of Swords speaks the truth. The Queen of Swords speaks with loyalty. The Queen of Swords speaks truth, words of truth.
and it is feeling separated separated it's like <sighs> this knight of swords is seeking the sacred they're like on bended knees searching for answers of what to do here they want to take leadership and it's almost as if <sighs> this could actually be a rest virgo trying to find their way this is waiting this is like damned if you do damned if you don't you got a skull in one hand and a snake in the other Oh, Virgo. Ace of Wands. Trying to follow your passions. Or this is... It's like, what the hell is this saying? These are heavy, heavy burdens. It's almost as if somebody is holding on or holding back, playing things close to their chest. Somebody's closed off their heart here. It's about passion. It's about... Yeesh, deny. You're in between a rock and a hard place. That's what I see. Two of Pentacles having to make a choice. It's like this is the Cinderella syndrome here. It's like somebody wanting to be like cinderella at the ball waiting you know somebody is confused I don't know. Closing out a cycle. 
it's like someone wants to be financially independent but what the hell is this all about why are there so many freaking people involved here that's what I want to know somebody's got a Cinderella syndrome going on here okay and it's like they're they're putting on their pouty pants like if I don't get my way I'm gonna be single it's threats it's like threats you know what I'm saying but I'm I'm feeling weird energy here guys just hang on it's like oh decision to end something or making a decision but uh, the hell is hanging on to this skull for like it's almost like somebody is threatening to end something if somebody doesn't do what they want them to do What's going on here, Virgo? Yeah, it is. Ending something. <sighs> There's somebody here trying to get guidance. All right? And... It's making a choice to end something, walk away from something. Four of Cups in reverse. So somebody did not want to walk away from something, but they ended something out of fear of rejection. Or refusing something. What's going on? Well, we have a temperance angel here. Okay? Temperance angel could be signifying that somebody is just very spiritually balanced and gifted here this is someone who I thought Jesus <sighs> but there's another energy here What's this? Tea parties, you know, birthday celebrations going on here. It's all about the fun. Uh, social status or wanting to just celebrate, have fun. There's like, I don't know what this is saying. I'm confused. So I know that foggy feeling, it is your confusion. Someone is confused. Something is not fair here. Something is out of balance. It's like...
it's like one person here is giving, 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 giving at the cost of someone else. Someone is receiving, but it's unfair. The scales are out of balance. So justice is down here and someone keeps receiving and is sitting here celebrating, you know, like being really social, something like that. And the other ones being a busy bee, like, I don't get it. This is about moving or the chariot here. Page, energy. Virgo, what have you got yourself into? Now, this one here, I got to say, is very gifted, very spiritually gifted. I don't know what this is going on about. And it's almost as if this person has been giving, giving, giving their time, their energy, their resources to the point where, you know, everybody else just having fun on at their expense. And a love connection. But it's almost as if someone is filling up their cup at someone else's expense. It's not in the past. So it is in the present. There is a magician. Who is causing pain? Hurting. I don't know who's the magician here. This is manipulating. Somebody is trying to manifest their dreams at the cost of hurting others. Like this emperor is looking at this magician. Now this is a not a good energy because it's almost as if this is saying that someone has been working really hard, like really hard for the this B to be here, this independence, this temperance angel. Somebody's been working their hiney off. This is a Cinderella who has been enduring hard, hard labor. Like the these are not victories that this person has gotten like they've been had a life of hard experiences hard knocks and hard challenges and now they have found their balance and it's almost as if I don't know what this is everybody celebrating uh, like having fun well this person's off busy working I don't get it it may or may not resonate to you. What is the frick is this? Win at all costs here?
What the hell is this saying, Virgo? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like this energy. I'm going to be real. why there's going to be justice here because something is not fair here something isn't fair here it doesn't really matter what it is something is unfair for the justice to be here the only time justice is a, appears is when something was unjust and it needs to be made right the wheel of fortune now this either can bring good things or bring bad things I guess it depends on what side of the fence you're on here wanting change There's emotions here, okay? Something unexpected. A rude awakening, a tower, a shock, a revelation. This is truth. Truth is truth. You cannot move it. You cannot shake it. going on here it's about strength I don't know, there's too many people here. It's like someone's going through judgment. Someone is like five of pentacle energy. Someone's king of pentacles looking at 
in lack, feeling like they don't have enough. For this page. I just know there are way too many people getting involved here and it's confusing somebody. It is fogged in. Can't see clearly because there's too many people getting involved. All right, we got pages here. We have, what the hell? There's a King of Pentacles here, which is Virgo energy. Feeling like they don't have enough for this page. They feel they're, they don't have enough. That's just the bottom line. They feel they do not have enough. They're feeling like they're in lack. They're feeling like they're not worthy of this page energy. Like, the hell is this? I mean, somebody's trying to manifest their dreams here, okay? Somebody is trying to create a life of abundance here. They feel like they're in lack, but they don't feel like they're good enough or worthy enough for this page energy. This is someone younger. This, this is... What the hell? It's like turn cold, stone cold. It's king of swords. It's like, I don't like the energy. There's a lot going on here because there are too many people involved here. Holy doodle. What the hell is this damned feeling? The star, it's like hoping and wishing and I see I'm sorry, I I see there's just plain and simply too many involved. That's why, you, why Virgo can't see clearly. There's too many people involved. Particularly if you are trying to manifest something and you're trying to achieve something. Jesus. This is confusion beyond confusion. This is a King of Pentacles 
who feels like unless they are the king of pentacles they're somehow not worthy like the king of pentacles traditionally is very financially uh independent grounded they have a lot of castles and the high life here but they don't feel worthy because this page i think this page is wanting the good life like a life of riches and it's like this king feels unworthy unless they can provide this It's page energy. It is. It is somebody. It's a romantic connection and someone is guarded and someone is defensive because This is taking a big risk. Gambling. It's a love connection. But there's some toxicity here, and I have to say it. I'm just, I'm going to put it out there. There's some toxicity here. It could be codependency. It could be worry, excessive worry. It could be anything. Crying. Hierophant having to learn some type of lesson. And it's almost as if, What the hell, man? I don't like this energy. It's like a power struggle, but there is... There's deception here, and the light is being shone on the deception. Like, these are obstacles and challenges, and it's like fighting and arguing, but I don't know what you're fighting and arguing about. There's storm-tossed waters here. This is fighting and arguing. And the, like, the light's being shone on some sort of deception. Somebody here is taking a big risk, a big gamble. Now, I don't know if this is to do with work. I don't know what this is. But I can tell you that whoever this empress energy is this is a temperance angel this is someone who has got a divine purpose who has a divine um
calling. It's like this temperance angel never got this financial wealth or this independent by by uh, not working. This is not something that fell into this empress's lap. This is something that this empress has worked their whole life for. And it's almost as if I don't know what this is saying. There are too many people involved here. It's like, there's too many people involved. Okay, so we know where this wealth is here. And it's almost as if, there's too many people getting involved here. the hell is this this is probably the most confusing read I have ever done I can tell you that somebody here wants to be the king of pentacles and they're being made to feel unworthy because they cannot provide what it is that they want to uh, provide to this page energy then there's another page involved here someone younger who it's like a competition going on here so somebody is doing something really risky, gambling a situation in order to impress other people. It's here. It is here. And beware of self-deception because if it, it is some kind of toxicity, it is some type of codependency, we have just too many people getting involved, giving their two bits. I'm telling you right now that that's what's going on here. It is confusing somebody. It is like pulling the wool over their eyes. It's a fog to keep somebody from seeing. But it's almost like somebody is sitting here wanting to socialize and and be independent and there's birthday cakes and there's you know wanting to get together with i don't know i don't know somebody is trying to impress somebody Somebody is trying to live high on the hog and have it all, but it's almost like they don't want to wait. They want it now. I want it now. And it is a competition going on between 
younger energies. It is a comp competing with one another to... Why? That does not give you worth. In fact, it will do the opposite. It will do the exact opposite. You've got the most confusing read of all the Zodiacs right now that I've read for. Fogged in bog. Again, we see I don't know, social circles. I don't know. Somebody is trying to like It's almost like for social peer pressure going on. It, it's like trying to compete and live in a social circle of... I don't know. It's somebody is trying to impress others and impress a social circle of friends or a so social circle of family members but it is at a cost of somebody 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 is very prosperous, but that's because they've been a busy bee. They've done this alone. It's like they have pure intentions, and it's almost as if... Somebody's just like, I'm not waiting, I'm not waiting, I want it now, I want it now, I want it now. Well... Those are short one victories. Something that usually doesn't last. It's telling Virgo to be patient. It's telling Virgo to get into alignment especially if you want to manifest you cannot manifest during a retrograde you cannot manifest during certain periods of time especially if you're out of alignment it's like a cautionary measure telling you that if you want to manifest these dreams, you're going to have to be patient. You are going to have to exercise patience. And don't take risks during a retrograde. Don't start things during a retrograde period because they usually will not be fruitful if you do. Retrogrades have a lot of negative energy. Retrogrades, it's like you do make rash decisions because your life is falling apart or you want to make change. But wait till after retrogrades to start any projects or to manifest because 
it's almost as if it's pressure, peer pressure to perform here. And it's like somebody wanting it now, but it's a gamble, it's a risk if you start things during a retrograde. And it's like throwing you out of alignment. So if you're trying to manifest your dreams and you're trying to manifest, you know, what this is, don't take risks. It's telling you to not jeopardize uh, something because of societal peer pressure or what you think others want you to be. It's like trying to impress other people and it's like warning you to not take risks and give in to peer pressure. Whether that is performance or whether that is trying to have it all. You know what I mean? Don't fall into that trap. That's what it's warning you of. And it's almost like everybody else has a say-so, but they aren't paying your bills. You know what I mean? It's you who's paying your bills. And everybody else wants to have a say of what you should do, except they're the ones that are not footing the bill for your risk taking. So be cautious. Do not fall into peer pressure uh, because people are telling you what you should do or what you feel that you should do. Don't take unnecessary risks at this time. That's what it's telling you. Be cautious. Take care.